and decision. Sit up here. Keep that. One, thirty. Two, three, number one. I am telling myself how to Inside, so we're doing what I'm carrying the drop. So we're going to bring a drop up. What we're going to carry, we're carrying. We're going to bring a hand out. We can bring it across the face. Same way we do for us. I'll carry the gap. We're going to bring it straight out. So when I bring it out, I'm going to bring my shoulder as well. So we're going to bring it out, shoulder right back. So we're going to carry and we're going to slide the drop right back. We're going to carry the drop, cross, and go. So we're going to carry, cross, pull. So we're Yes. 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 Yes.
and time. Come down. Put your thigh over and do that. And cover it. So I'll take you back right here. I didn't run them all the way through.
right, so you guys are going to blitz on your own uh, wide right hand to push and attack. Just throwing those back and forth at your own throat. You guys are going to start out with the wide right hand. So the wide right hand is coming in. I'm going to block their spawn. I'm going to pop it in time. I get the spawn to the net. And I drive the knee in there. I got some of those, right? You got to block their knee, block top, push forward, shot the knee, and then you're done. Like that. Like that. You guys just practice it on your own. Right? You look at that. Boom. There. Okay. All right. I should have been enough to warm up for you guys. And position. Yeah. And go. Don't forget to punch. Tip, 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 tip. Position. Get the tackle. Tip, tip. Position. Get the push. Tip, tip, tip. And relax. So now going into arm to throw choke from behind. So as your choke comes in from behind me, I want to right away get my chin in my fingers in. I'm going to step towards your elbow side. This is typically going to be right because most people are right handed and then choke you with your strong drive. So fingers in, step inside, elbows running right, right back, three gripping on, step behind them, jump my head out, and then I push down and then my hands are up and I'm waiting to get my hands up. Again, excuse me, fingers in, step inside. Elbow hammer fist, step in the knee, and then push and then back. Right. Practice that on your own for a moment. And I think that now we're doing the performance check of our self defense. So now you want to start adding the breathing. So if I'm going through it, I'm going to go, tia, 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 tia. Very quick, of course, a little more intense. It's not just a short time. Yes. All right, so okay. Yeah. So it's set. So now we add the breathing. There you go. Tia, 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 tia. And set. Go. Tia, 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 tia. Two more times to go. Go. Set. Go. And then the next one is going to be from the push, right? So I'm stepping in. I'm going to push you, and you're stepping back, clearing your arms, checking your your momentum. And keep in mind you're not going to magically push them back. Frank's you know one year stronger than I am. He's stepping and pushing, and I clear. I'm not pushing his back and making him go back. But what I have to be cautious of is. If he goes to push me and this happens, suddenly he just falls in, right? So suddenly you have to resist and suddenly you have to resist the fight. So that push is actually to make sure that they don't fall into the one. But anyway, I'm now evaluating, and I said, okay, step in, I think I have to have to do it. Once you have to do it, okay. So here we set back here, check your balance, and then part of the jack box, right? So you can do that. Step back here, push you back, evaluate, and then right? That's your job. Practice that one. All right, so let's see it. Ready? Arm and throw choke from behind. Any performances now? I'm going to think this part's all going to be quiet. With the slightly on the breeze, see that, see that. I'm going to duck out. I'm going to push them, and then I'm going to have to go back. So if I'm performing this one, it's going to kind of go. See that, see that. I got right. And set. Fourth position. Go. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so now side headlock. So the side headlock comes on and I step around. I control. I straight it. Run free control. My hand leg is in between that and I as I push away and stand up. And then I can switch hands to the runner and then I give him a shot. And then I just start to grab his position. Tilt the side, I step forward, control the arm. Tilt the groin, control the arm. Straighten the neck, push away, straight to the stage. Switch hands to the thunder, and then I got the hand. So initially I'm controlling the hand as much as I can, right? But once I get to here and I create space, now I can switch hands and grab the one that's around my neck. Because I need to control that arm as I go under because it's going to fall right back. Correct. Right? 8,000 pounds. All right, so now on this one, again, I'm going to clear, I breathe on the shot, and I'm going to breathe on the jack cross, right? So we'll start from here, tap, and go, go, tia, 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 and go. <clears throat> and then the sprawl off of the tackle. This is going to be one of the tougher ones to inform because you don't have that sense that I'm actually pushing off of someone. 
and then they're moved back as you can see they drove in. I'm creating this frame, and then once I have this frame, I'm just here. The pole doesn't move, so I stay here. But if the pole moves, then I would keep that frame, and the pole would push me back. So I jump back, it's not that I'm jumping back. Because if I just jump back, I have backward momentum, and they're shooting for my left, they're going to take me right down the ground. Right? So I want it to be that my hands are on the shoulders, and if they're pushing in at me, I'm just going to shuffle my right feet back and keep my legs away from me. Because if you do this in form, I'm going to be in the shoulder, I shuffle back a couple steps, and then I have a right? And then the shoulder shuffle back and wide, and then the feet. And instead of one foot in front, I go to the wide. One foot in front, I can snatch one leg up quicker, so that both feet off to the side, and then you're going down to the other side. Right? Let's go. Practice that on your own for a moment. And let's go off in the front of the feet. The bring down this one is a little bit more challenging because there's not much. I'm going to step to the side, I'm going to strike, look down and bring down the tia, and then all of this is just, you know, kind of breathing and then high out of the back of the brush, right? So the formula is kind of good. Tia! Ready, 
position. Yeah. Front headlock. Thank you. 
time, right? So for the next time, you guys actually have to party. And you all the name Roundhouse Kick now on the party. So right leg on left leg. And I want you to do a similar how you're doing those kicks. So keep my left side forward, I put my right leg roundhouse kick, and then I put my side leg kick here. You can go to the body of the hand if you want. But I keep my left side forward and just put it Left side forward the whole time. And you guys are off go. On this side, you guys can have a kick. So then that's the way you can do the kick. Thank you. 
that sort of stuff. You get you get there. Right? Then on this side, you guys are going to start working with the counter. This first round, all I have to do is say, part of that with a cross up. There's that guy jumping with God and hands towards the cross, and I go here, and I sort of cross up that, and then I'm right back. She's throwing her cross, and I'm blocking where I'm shooting, and then that thing that comes in, and block, and two, and two, and two, right? And it could be that I block and hit the body, back up to the head, or you want to do one, two. But right now, just think part of that, you won't cross if you're up. Right? Um, still three by three, so I throw three and three. Good work! No head contact? No head contact. I hope they want to go first. Okay, perfect. You didn't know what I was going to make you go first. I didn't do that. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to reach for the right foot, and you're still going to block what you did. Right? But now I'm going to bring this hand back quickly to the cross, to the cross, and you come back to the left foot. So I'm going to go here, and block, and back, and cross. Cross, 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 cross. And the slide on this one, it might be a little bumper because you have the Velcro, so. You know, do what you can. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, I have a chair for you. Did you have, you said you had a gear bag, right? I don't remember there being a gear bag on the thing for you. Okay. So I'll just give you the big box and you can just throw it in the box. And you all right. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Kessler would probably, as soon as he cleans that up, he would probably go grab you right here. Now 
look by a window, this is your security guard. No problem, he's trying to break into your house. I'm not just climbing into your house, doing one of those windows. I'm going to jump at the back of the bush, and kind of get you see you know, and I'm going to see you in the back. So, you know, having security right there where there's motion sensors, someone breaks a lot, they're all going to be And then the other thing, too, is this is the question. Okay, if you woke up at 2 in the morning, Somebody's car alarm going by. What would you do? Would you go, you just go out and turn that off, try and go back to sleep, you can call 911, what would you do? And I think the right answer should be call 911. Right? So one of the things that I think out there is going to be security for our home is that, you know, suddenly something's breaking into your house, you got your keys by your bed, and you set out for family months, you can find your car. But here's my concern with that is how many people just go, oh, car alarm. Right? Can you just go off? I gotta go back to bed, I gotta get up at six in the morning. Or would somebody really go, car alarm's going off at two in the morning, something must be wrong. I think you call 911, but you come check it out. Your own car alarm, right? So if you had your keys by your back to your car, and suddenly you feel like somebody's breaking into your house, somebody did break into your house, right? so you just push the button on your key.